Good day. In this video, we're going to show you how to work out the general term of a linear number pattern. A linear number pattern has a constant first difference, which means to get the consecutive terms, you add the same amount or minus the same amount from each term to get the consecutive terms in that sequence. Like the sequence we have over here, we add 4 plus 3 gave us 7, plus 3 gave us 10, and so on. If you see that you have a linear pattern like we have over here, then you write down the formula Tn equals Bn plus C. In this formula, B is the constant difference, this 3 that you see here, we're going to fill it in there, and C is term 1 minus B. So this 4 minus this number will give us the C. Please stop the video and copy down this information. We're going to do three examples where we practice this formula. The first question they can ask you is find the general term, or they can say find t of n, or they can say find a formula for the sequence, for this sequence. We can see that 4 plus 3 gives us 7, plus 3 gives us 10, plus 3 gives us 13. So we know it is a linear pattern. We can write down this formula, and we must remind ourselves b is the constant difference, so this 3 will go there. The C is term 1 minus B. So this 4 minus this number. Please remember to find this plus 3. You take that 7 minus that 4, get an answer. Take the 10 minus the 7, get an answer. And take the 13 minus the 10 and get an answer. It is really worth the trouble for the more difficult sums that are coming. Then later in life you will understand when they say term 2 minus term 1 is the same as term 3 minus term 2 is the same as term 4 minus term 3 in a linear pattern. And here we go. They say find a formula for this sequence. We already worked out that the constant difference is plus 3. If they ask me to add in any more numbers, I plus 3 to 13 and get 16 and plus 3 to that again to get to 19. I write down the formula Tn equals to Bn plus C and I already know that B is 3. And C is term 1 minus B. And that is 4 minus plus 3, which is 1. So the formula for this sequence is Tn equals to 3n plus 1. Now to check if this formula works, I've put it into a table. So 4 is the first term, 7 is the second term, 10 is the third term, and the fourth term is 13. So term 1 is 3 times 1 plus 1, which is 4. Term 2 is 3 times 2 plus 1, which is 7. It works. And term 3 will be 3 times 3, which is 9, plus 1 is 10. It's working. So our formula is right. So 3 times the position plus 1 gives us our terms. Before we do two more examples, they can also on this question ask you find the value of the tenth term. Then you write down the formula Tn equals to 3n plus 1. Write T10 equals to 3, replace the n with a 10 plus 1, and your final answer is 31. Then you write the value of term 10 is 31. They can also ask you which term will have a value of 61. Then you write 3n plus 1 equals 61. You can do it mentally by saying 3 times what plus 1 is 61. We can do inverse operations and solve for n. Minus 1 on both sides and you get 3n equals to 60. Divide by 3 on both sides and you get n equals to 20. Then you write term 20 will be 61. Please stop the video and get your brain around this. Now stop the video and work out the general term of this sequence please. Yes, you take 7 minus 3 is 4, 11 minus 7 is 4, and 15 minus 11 is 4. That will be our B. Write down the formula, Tn equals to Bn plus C. B is the constant difference, and C is term 1 minus B. So term 1 is 3 minus 4, 3 minus plus 4 is minus 1. The general term is Tn equals to 4n minus 1. You don't have to do that, but I just checked. Term 2 is 4 times 2, which is 8, minus 1 is 7. Yes, the formula is working. Please stop the video and get your brain around this one. 
last sequence of this video that gave us this sequence of numbers to us work out the general term. If you take the 115 minus 120, you'll see it's minus 5. 110 minus 115 will give you a minus 5. So we have a constant difference of minus 5, which will be my b. If they ask me to work out the value of the next term in the sequence, you will minus 5 from 105 and you'll get the answer 100. Now let's find the general term. So we know it is a linear pattern and we're going to use this formula because there's a constant difference of minus 5, which is the b value. And we remind ourselves c is term 1 minus b. And be careful, that is the 120 minus minus 5, which we write like this. So this 2 minuses becomes a plus, so 120 plus 5, so c is 125. You only understand this after you've done integers in grade 7. The general term is dn equals to minus 5n plus 125. We're going to check if the formula works by working out term 3 equals minus 5 times 3 plus 125. That gives us term 3 is 110. And we can see over here term 3 is 110. Please stop the video and get your brain around this. Please indicate whether you liked or disliked the video and subscribe to the channel. You may also message me at this number to arrange a personalized lesson in mathematics on any topic.